My man, Jared, a loyal client of mine over from Australia, you uh, were sent a deal from a wholesaler uh, and you were thinking about purchasing it. But before you made the purchase, you made the right move. You reached out to me to fully analyze it for you. Jared, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, Jared, <clears throat> I got it pulled up on the screen here. This is... Uh, the you know the memorandum the offering memorandum that he sent you that you had sent me the address 1302 west 116th uh this is an off-market deal uh i'm assuming this dude is a wholesaler i've never heard of this guy before i don't know anything about him or his business uh, i'm just going by what we have here uh, so off-market deal uh this is the the, the initial description 1302 West 116th, Cleveland, Ohio, pictured above, is nested in a place just outside the city in the desirable Edgewater, just a few blocks from the lake and parks, as well as restaurants. I am offering as an off-market deal for $115,000. This home is perfect for a flip or a buy and hold. I am not so sure about that. Uh, we will get into that here. Moving down further. Uh, so it looks like he's, uh, you know, drafted this up for you as a flip exit project description here home has three stories where the third already has a loft apartment for extra income for the end buyer or separate second from first for a triplex it is listed as a single family which can stay that way for a light to moderate rental to maximize its potential as a single family work needed uh, needs a new kitchen, three bathrooms, flooring, and a fresh coat of paint. Done. It's a good example of get in, get out, get paid, or get in and get residual, do a refi. Uh, well, you know, kitchens and baths are the biggest thing uh, that you got to do, bro. <laughs> and then floors are not necessarily that small either. So I don't know if it's get in, get out. Uh, it looks like you got to do a decent amount of work. Um, but, you know, whatever there you know there's opportunity this is a cool neighborhood i will i will give you that though one thing i want to mention uh in the first thing he said uh just outside of the city this is in cleveland proper this is not in a suburb so edgewater just the name of a, a neighborhood here so this is this is the city of cleveland uh so he's putting you here uh purchase price hundred fifteen thousand. he's saying you're going to rehab the house for fifty thousand, uh and your total holding costs are going to be three thousand uh, so he's saying you're going to put in a total of 168000 and he's saying that you could uh, sell this thing for 275000 So he's saying you're going to make 87750 after he keeps put in here that your cost to sell is going to be 19250 uh, Typically when you sell a house, you're looking at a commission of 7%. So he's got that right, 19250 so he's not, he's not slighting you there. He's giving you uh, reasonable numbers there. Um, he's saying it would take roughly five months to get this whole project. I agree. I think uh, he's got a good price here on how much it'll cost to sell. Very accurate. He's not messing with you there. Uh, his time is reasonable. He's not messing with you there. Uh, I do like the neighborhood. He likes the neighborhood. I think he's, he's right on the money with the neighborhood being cool. Um, but I, I do have some issues uh, with what he's got over here. Here's the comps that he provided you. Um, I, I, went, I ran through these comps and I don't know. I'm not feeling these comps. Um, before I even get into these comps though, one thing, I, I want to show you something. So this is the property. You're very, very close to the lake. Super cool. Uh, it is a cool neighborhood. But I, I think he might be overstating just how cool it is. So this is the home right here. If you look uh, right here and right here, these are two large apartment buildings. 
Uh, I actually sold these apartments, and uh, Holton Wise, you know, we managed these for several, several years. Uh, this is a 22-unit apartment building, okay? Both buildings together, each building is 11 units. Uh, I sold this thing back in 2016 for 653000 So just doing the math there, 653000 divided by 22, uh, that's $29,681 a unit, so about $30,000 a unit. Uh, so to say that converting this property um, to a triplex makes sense, and it's got an ARV of $275,000 as a triplex, that doesn't make any sense to me, right? Uh, because, you know, right here, $30,000 a unit, under $30,000 a unit. Right here, $100,000 a unit. I'm, I'm not buying that, dude. I'm not, I'm not buying that. Um, so that's, that's one little flag to me. Now, as far as like buy, hold, and keep, I do like it uh, as the neighborhood's good. You can make some money renting this property, but again, at a price point, thinking it's worth 275, I think that's overstating it. Uh, you know, if you were to rent these units, they're gonna be nice big units. I would anticipate you'd probably be able to get like, uh, you know, maybe 850 uh, if the units are decked out really, really nice. In this building, I know, you know, we had some pretty big units. Uh, we were renting everything in the six to seven hundred dollar range. Um, it's a cool neighborhood. It is kind of trendy. It's it's nice, but it isn't like uh, like super high end or anything of that nature. Like it's still six hundred seven six seven hundred dollar tenants. Uh, you know, we still ran into the normal issues uh, that you run into with those types of tenants. Uh, so I'm not poo pooing on this deal just yet. I just want to set us up here because I think some of the stuff in the performa was a bit overstated. So there's a little flavor, um, and that's as close as flavor as you could possibly get. Literally right next door, last time this sold, under 30K a unit. Now, the market has definitely increased since I sold this, um, but you know, again, we ran this thing for several years. Uh, you know, So six, $700 rentals. Um, it's probably worth today, as it sits, probably like 35 to maybe 40K a unit, maybe, um, but it's definitely not worth 100K a unit. Uh, so there's that. So going back to his comp list, though, he's got some super impressive comps, though, dude, right? You got 1364 West 111th. You know, that sold for $222,501. I searched through the whole MLS, and I could not find anything on that. He says it sold on November 9th, 2018. I did not see anything. Uh, in regards to that comp on the MLS. So let's just skip that one. Let's eliminate that one as a good comp. 11834 uh, Lake in Lakewood. That's sold for 309000 That's cool, but that's not a valid comp here, dude. That's Lakewood. That's totally different. Uh, a Lakewood comp is not an actual comparable comp to this property. So I do not consider that to be a reliable comp for this property. So I want to eliminate that. Now, this one though, this is pretty gnarly. 1303 West 115th. This sold in October, okay, uh, for 265000 Going into it here, just so you know, I did pull my own comps, and in the last six months, four single family homes uh, sold, and that is this comp right here that he has for you. Uh, of my list, though, of my four, this is this one, and I think one more at the end um, showed up on his list, but there's something I want to talk to you about that. So just looking at it as like a true comp, though, this came in my list of four. Uh, it was also on his list. We've eliminated the first two. I didn't think those were one I couldn't find. The others in Lakewood, not a reasonable comp. This is our best comp, though. This is absolutely our best comp. You know, single family home, you know, totally renovated, you know, it's an older home, just like the home this is. Look at this kitchen here, you know, beautiful appliances. It's looking nice. They left some exposed brick. You know, it looks like we got quartz counters, undermount sink, you know, brand new stainless steel appliances and fixtures. Looks really good. I assume there was probably a wall right here that they tore out. All these cabinets are new, okay? This is just looking great. This is a beautiful house, um, you know. Looks like we got brand new windows here, brand new ceiling fan. You know, it looks like they went in. They definitely, this right here, see this, this header? This, there was probably a wall right there as well. So they probably pounded out that wall, probably another wall over here. You know, really opening this thing up, giving it that nice new modern feel. 
okay? So this right here, this is a beautiful home. You know, just look at this, this bathroom right here. Separate tub, beautiful shower, you know, nice tile. All that stuff, you know, that looks really, really good. Now, uh, in your email to me, um, you know, purchase price 115 and you're thinking about like a $50,000 rehab, uh, which is what he put in his thing here. Now remember, he was accurate in my opinion on his cost to sell. I thought that was accurate. 19,250, totally accurate. His timeline, totally accurate, five months. However, to get this house to look like our reasonable, our good comp, you know, 1303 West 115th, to get this house to look like this house, this is not going to be a $50,000 um, rehab under no circumstance. Uh, to get what we currently have here, like an old beat down old home that needs three bathrooms, needs a kitchen, it's already got like an attic uh, separate unit that you'd probably need to get rid of. You're not accomplishing that for anywhere near uh, $50,000, dude. This is an old home, okay? You know, these things are pretty much like a hundred year old home. You're gonna need all new furnace, all new windows, new roof. You're gonna have to go in and remove all the existing wiring. You're gonna have to do structural repairs because you're gonna have to pull out walls. To get the price to be like that, man, you need to have a nice wide open concept like this. When these homes were built, they were not built uh, with this wide open concept that we're used to in today's new construction. Nobody's paying that price for like an old home that's just got newer fixtures. It's not gonna happen. So to get what they've done here, you know, you're going in, you're probably waterproof in the basement. Uh, you're just doing so much work behind the scenes. You're not coming anywhere near a $50,000 renovation. To achieve what we have right here, dude, that is at least a six figure renovation. Like no question about it. Um, you are spending at least 100,000, if not like $130,000. So that would put you, if you bought it for 115K to get this, you'd have to spend probably 130K. So that right there, we got 245,000. If you did all that, you spent 130,000, possibly, possibly you could sell it. Cause you know, again, this one sold, uh, this one did sell for 265,000 and it is a good comp. They listed at 279. It took them a decent while to sell, 108 days, and it sold for 265. So, if you bought it for 115, put 130 into it. You know, you're looking at you're all in for 245 plus you have your cost to sell. Let's just round up at 20k. Okay, so that's 265,000. That's a lot of money to put out, right? Uh, and a lot of risk and a lot of time. Five months, you're all in 265k. Uh, and you sell it for 275k, so you're only making 10k. So uh, I don't think that it makes sense as a flip. Uh, not because it's like a horrible neighborhood or anything like that. Not because we can't achieve, we can't possibly achieve a, that price point. But you have to put in over 100,000 to get it, and there's there's just no spread. Now, other than that though, too, like that's only like one comp. When I pulled my comps, right? If you look on my comps, that's the one true comp, 265. Comp that he didn't tell you about that was on there, this one right here, 1313 West 114th. That sold for 159000 right? And this is just like a pretty decent looking house. So like this is what you can expect like that house to look like, okay, with probably like a $50,000 budget, you know? Like decent appliances, everything looks like okay, but it's not beautiful, it's not brand new, it probably doesn't have all brand new electrical throughout all new systems. You probably have some old windows. Like a $50,000 rental is probably gonna get you something similar to this, $160,000 value, right? Like to, to get that huge value, you gotta go totally, you know, balls out, dude. And that's gonna cost you, in my estimate, probably, you know, 130,000. Beyond that, uh, we have, you know, some other stuff uh, that sold for like big, big, big money, 545000 605000 But these are completely, you know, brand new townhomes, right? So the product we have, you know, we're not competing with that. Our best comp, again, is the 115th comp, but it's just too slim with the amount of money we got to put into the deal. Now, going back to his comps, I wanted to break out 
some other stuff here. 1331 West 112th. I did find that one. I got that one right here. This sold at 190,000. Again, to do everything we need to do, that would put us at 245,000. So already, you know, worth more than this property. So exiting at 190,000 um, wouldn't help us. But you know, at 190,000, it's a it's a pretty reasonably nice home. Again, this is, you know, if you're spending maybe 50,000, this is probably the price point you could expect because it's not just like totally decked out uh, like that other property. You know, we got a lot of the old world charm in here. Um, so you might be able to accomplish like a similar look to this home for that 50,000. Back to his comps, two more. The one on Detroit, again, that's another Lakewood comp, 290000 I am, you know, it's a Lakewood comp. It's, it's not comparable, so get rid of that. And the last comp I, uh, you know, wanted you to see here, I don't want you to get super excited thinking maybe you could sell for three sixty-five. because if we're all in for two forty-five and we sell for three sixty-five, well, we still made a lot of money. This, this is a bogus comp. Uh, you know, I don't know if he did it on purpose or what, but this comp's no good. 1460 West 110th. Three bed, one bath, sold for three hundred sixty-five thousand. That is actually not accurate. Okay, uh, it did not. This is the house. Okay, it's just this little tiny house here. Okay, this teeny weeny little bungalow. It sold for fifty thousand. Now, if you go to the auditor site, you will see this address, and it will show a recording of that price point. That uh, I think it was what was it three hundred. Yeah, it will show a recording of three hundred sixty-five thousand, but it actually didn't sell for three hundred sixty-five thousand. The little tiny home itself, right here, we got it for you. It sold for fifty thousand dollars. What had happened was, this was sold as part of a package, so everything got recorded at once. It included this house, okay. It also included a ten-unit apartment building, a single-family home, and another eleven-unit apartment building. So that whole package all together sold for 365k, but just this teeny weeny little house, dude, fifty thousand dollars. So for all those reasons, uh, keeping this thing as a single family, trying to flip, eh, James Wise denied, bro. Jared, I don't want you dropping your money on this deal. I don't think it's a good flip for you here. Um, your other idea. If you would like Holton Wise to sell a property you already own. In a video just like this one, send an email to sales at boltonwise.com. Make sure you're subscribed to our investor mailing list. We are going to send you an email with the latest investment properties for sale every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can expect a full video offering just like what you've seen today in every one of these emails. To possibly keep it keep it as a multi-family it's currently zoned as a single you have like an in-law suite it may or may not be grandfathered in um, but I don't even know with like the price point we're at I don't think it makes sense again look at my apartment building right twenty nine thousand dollars a unit that was back in 2016 maybe it's worth forty thousand dollars a unit today uh, with what you have here you don't have kitchens you don't have baths and it's like a tiny little uh, upstairs apartment so like you spend 115 you probably could get away with renovating it for a nice rental uh, for 50 so you're all in for like 165 uh, your main your large apartment you know that'll probably rent for like you know if it's a multi-floor it's basically like a single family house with just a tiny apartment on the third floor you probably rent that for like 950 and then that apartment is the third floor attic apartment would be smaller so you probably get like 650 so what do we got there 950 plus 650 so you're getting 1600 in rent but you're probably all in for 165,000 I mean that's eighty two thousand five hundred dollars a unit you can just do so much better than that like I pulled the uh, went ahead and pulled the multifamily comps for you um, there was not enough uh, data you know when you pull comps just so you know when you pull comps uh, if you're looking in an urban area like Cleveland super densely packed in we got a bunch of people living here uh, you want to look quarter mile, right? If you're in the city, if you're out in the country, it's wider, right? But if you're in the city like this, you want to look at your comps. Quarter mile radius of the home over six months. Uh, that's what I did when I pulled my four comps for the singles. For the multis, nothing sold in the last six months, but in the last 12 months, we did have three that sold. 
Uh, this one, 1316 West 116th, it sold for 120000 dude. So that's like 60 k a unit, Why, and it's already done. Why pay 82500 a unit when you're the one who has to do the entire rehab? you got to come in all cash. You're overpaying by like 40 something thousand. You got to put up with all that work. Not a good deal. The other one, 154,000 now is a duplex. And another one that sold uh, for a decently high amount, 185, but that happened to be a four unit apartment building. So I guess, uh, you know, the whole moral of what I think about this deal, I like the property, okay? I do. I do like the neighborhood. I don't like some of the data that was presented to you. I think some of it was misleading. Uh, some of it was close to being accurate, but as you see from what we've broken down here, I don't think it's accurate. So if you have to come in cash and buy this thing for 115, uh, and then you need to put at minimum 50 to make it a rental, uh, I think it's a bogus deal. I wouldn't do it. I think it's too, too, too much money. You'd have to get a huge discount. Uh, as far as flipping it to get anywhere near our best comp, which is 1303 West 115th. I'll pull that one up for you again. This property right here, 265000 is what that sold for. We would have to be all in purchase price renovation for about two forty five, dollars and then it's going to cost you twenty dollars to sell. Uh, so you'd have to sell it at two sixty five dollars just to break even. Uh, this is our only reasonable comp, so it's kind of pie in the sky uh, to guarantee you get two seventy five. dollars Nothing leads me to believe that you're going to sell it for more because, again, our other comp, uh, you know, we had the couple in Lakewood, didn't count. The one on West 111th, uh, I couldn't find any data on that. Plus, it was lower at 222. There's one at 190. And then the one that was high, 1460 West 110th, that was a bogus comp. That was just that single family home, and it was all recorded at once with that other package. And I think it was 10 unit, 11 unit, another single family house. Uh, so, for both of these strategies, dude, James Wise denied. If you can go in and pick this thing up for a little bit cheaper, you know, it may make sense as a nice single family flip. Uh, I don't think um, going into this deal uh, with the idea to buy it as a single family home with a, an additional suite, I don't think the, the, that's the best use of the property. So if you want a duplex, there's tons of duplexes out here. I probably wouldn't even worry about this as the duplex project. I think it's just too complicated, not really worth it, even if you could get a big discount. Um, if you were able to get a big discount and you wanted to flip it as a sale, you know, I think with a $50,000 budget, we could probably hit a price point of between 160 and 190. So you got to do your math from there, right? So if our end price, let's just cut it in the middle. If our end price is 175, you got 175,000 minus your repair cost of 50,000 to get it to $175,000 value. You know, that's 125,000. So if you were to pick it up a little bit cheaper uh, and spend that 50 and get 175,000 money could be made, but you got to pay way less than 115. So if we take our exit price of 175, you spend 50,000 renovating it, that leaves you with 125,000. You're going to spend 12,250 to sell it. Uh, just in real estate commissions, so that's going to be leave you with a hundred and twelve thousand, hundred twelve thousand seven hundred fifty um, would be left. You're probably going to pay another like two to three percent just for title fees. We'll just call it two percent. So another twenty five hundred. So more or less, it's going to leave you with a spread there of a hundred ten k. So what's a reasonable return on your investment? Like, what do you want to make? Because that's, that's what you can pay, right? Just to break even, you'd have to pay $110,000 and put your 50K in, just to break even. Obviously, you don't want to do that. So, you know, I think if you made $30,000 on this deal, that, that would be a good deal. So if you can pick this property up for $80,000, okay? If you could pick this sucker up for 80 grand and spend 50, you'd net $30,000. That would be James Wise approved, but you'd have to be able to pick it up for 80 grand. If you wanted to go the high end route, again, you could do that, um, but you gotta get it for low. So if you're trying to sell it, let's just call it 265 like our other comp. If you bought it for the 80 and then you put in your 130, 
and then you're spending $20,000 uh, on your commissions, that puts you all into the deal at $230,000. And if you sold it for that two sixty-five, dollars you know, you'd net out thirty-five dollars So if you do buy it with the intention to flip it, the moral of the story is I believe you need to pick the property up for about $80,000. And if you go the cheap route, spending about $50,000, you are going to wind up with an exit price of $175,000, and that's going to give you a profit of approximately thirty dollars If you went the high-end route, spent over one hundred dollars spent that one hundred dollars uh, and got that two sixty-five dollars price point, after everything shakes out, I think you would net out a profit of about $35,000. Uh, why we're talking strategy here, I do not think uh, the $5,000 is worth the additional work and risk involved with going with that extreme high-end renovation. So you don't want to triple your renovation budget just to make a tiny amount of money like five grand. So again, if you could pick it up for 80, the best use of this property, do the quick reno, try to sell for about $175,000, make your 30K. Uh, anything else, if they won't take around 80, uh, if you're trying to keep it long-term, if you're trying to do anything else, uh, I don't think the deal makes any sense unless you pick it up around 80000 Jared, I hope this video was helpful for you, bro. I am super pumped that you came to me and you purchased this analysis, man. If you went just off of all the numbers, you know, you'd be forking over an extreme amount of cash right now, anticipating an $87,000 payday. And as you've seen here from me breaking all this down for you, dude, that's just pie in the sky. It's not going to happen. Uh, so the money that you spent on this analysis, I think, was very well used. So I'm glad I could help you out there, brother. Uh, I look forward to doing more deals with you in the future. Uh, for everyone else who's watching this, you know, just like my boy Jared did, you know, just so you know, I do a bunch of deals with Jared. I've sold Jared an apartment building, sold him some singles. Uh, you know, so we go back and forth. We do a lot of business. Um, if I haven't worked with you yet, if you're watching this, I would love to. You know, you can purchase deals directly from me. Uh, in the show notes below, there's a link. I send out videos every day and I break down my investments. Or if you found it from somewhere else, just like Jared, you know, he found it from a wholesaler. No harm, no foul. I'm not the only guy in the world selling real estate. There's a lot of other deals out there. Uh, but you got to do your due diligence on these deals, guys, just like Jared did. You know, he came to me. He's like, hey, man, are these numbers legit? Are these real? Can I really make 87000 And it turns out, no. If you bought it at 115 k you're not making 87 grand. You're not making any money. You actually got to get a friggin' huge discount. You got to get a $35,000 discount off that list price to make any money. And the money you're going to make, even with that $35,000 discount, is almost a third of what this Performa uh, was projecting. So a lot of you know that when you buy property out of state, a lot of you know to do your due diligence. You know that you got to get that inspection to cover what's inside the four walls. That's great, but what you really need to do is you need to get an inspection for what's outside the four walls. That's what these analyses are for. You need to understand, is this property as an investment vehicle actually going to make me the money I think it's going to make? An inspection is going to tell you what's inside. It's going to tell you the nuts and bolts of the property, but it ain't going to tell you what that property is going to do for you as an investment vehicle. That's what I do. So if you would like to have me analyze a property, simply send me an email, jameswise at holtonwise. You can go to holtonwise.com, click on the for sale tab, and it'll link you to all the other analysis products that I've done for my other clients. And it'll also prompt you to purchase your own if you have your own deal that you're thinking about buying. After I do the analysis, if you want me to represent you as your broker, I will. I don't represent you as your buyer's broker on any deal until I already analyze it for you. Uh, so if you're afraid of having your deal get snagged before my analysis comes out, you could go ahead and write the offer directly to that seller or the listing agent. Just write it contingent on an analysis. Don't put up any non-refundable earnest money. You know, be upfront, be honest. You can put out an escape, you could put an escape clause in a contract. You just have to be honest about it. You have to be like, look, Mr. Seller, I will pay you this. But the deal is contingent on me getting an investment analysis uh, from my broker, James Wise, and it's contingent on getting an inspection from my home inspector. Those are two things that you could do on all these properties to make sure you don't come into this market and lose money. So again, you guys could do all that. Jared, thank you for ordering the video. I am very happy uh, to say that I think I've saved you a considerable amount of money today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is real estate investing made easy.
price. I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.